Well, good morning. Um, hey, this video is going to be pretty graphic, but I want to show you what them javelina can do. Uh, why you need to be real careful if, when you're releasing them and stuff. So uh, I got that coyote skin that I caught yesterday, and at first I thought it was from breeding, where it was bleeding. But as I was looking at the tracks all around it, it was all javelina tracks around the where it was caught so um, further investigation showed that javelinas came in and tore it up and after skinning it's even more apparent by the size of the the marks of the teeth and everything on it um, the hides pretty well runt but I'm gonna put it up anyway try sewing it up I'm not gonna sell it uh, I'll just have it tanned so I don't want to see it just go to waste uh, there's parts on there I can use for gloves or something so anyway like I said, uh, this is going to be graphic, so um, if you're faint of heart, go ahead and turn it off now. So here's a bite mark here in its neck. Um, had it all the way through there. You can see that. Um, there's tear marks right here in the shoulder as well. Bite mark there. Another bite mark there. Um, you can see two real distinct cuts there and other bite marks. And uh, the real bad tear I showed on the video last night is right here. Um, another great big old bite mark right there. Um, it's got a, and uh, you can see the bite mark clear down the back. Now back in here, um, it's normal to see during breeding season to have coyote bite marks, but the teeth marks don't ma match up. The coyote's teeth are really small, so just in comparison, where is that? So you can see those two bite marks there. If I can get it moving, they don't match up at all, and that hides folding in so. Yeah, um, um, it had tears clear down its legs too, um, where it's chewed up on the legs as well. So this little girl got beat up pretty bad by them javelina. Anyways, on the carcasses, like I said, it's going to be graphic. So um, she was really tore up, chewed up, clear down the neck, the throat, the legs. Um, her sides so yeah so if you guys are messing around you get one of them little pigs caught they'll tear you up don't let them get a hold of you so um sure hate to see a hide get tore up like that but like i said i'm going to utilize it i can build Pull some gloves or something out of it. I'll have it tan. I'm not going to sell that to a fur buyer. Well, we're back up here in those new sets again. These coyotes, they're breeding. This one's all chewed up already. It's number uh, 98. But uh, let me tell you, I've got a javelina over here, and there's just a couple more running around in this cotton a second ago. So. I can't say I've ever had something like this before. Let's see if I can get both in the. I can't say I've ever had one like that. I'll get this coyote dispatched and get set up, turn that javelina loose. Oh, yeah. Number 98 in the books. So yeah, like I said, got a double over here, but. Not the kind of double I was expecting. Oh, we'll give him dispatch, take a look at him. Well, I'm sitting here looking at this coyote and he's all chewed up. And I'm looking around at tracks. There's javelina tracks all over right here. I think them javelinas came over here and whooped the heck out of him. He's all chewed up. I don't know if it's going to be worth skinning, but uh, he got a big old gaping wound right there. Um, I don't know if I'll put that on the YouTube, but yeah, hell, there's javelina tracks all over right here. I think them javelinas tore him up. 
Well, I got the set remade. Uh, that's the second coyote in this set. I said we had a double, but there's javelinas. There's javelina tracks all over here. And uh, they tore them up. Um, that's a great big old bite mark right there. Um, it's got it on his neck. It's got it on the other side. So, yeah, that's a new one to me. Um, never have experienced that, but remade the set. Got that Avalina turned loose. Um, on her in hell. Got this one reset. So, I gotta get him lured and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. That's a uh, new, oh, new, new to me. Never had anything like that happen. Number 98 in the remake. Well, we got number 99 here. Um, this was the set in the video that I said, or I moved the trap and mocked it up. So that's where the set was, and I mocked it up like it's still there off of this set. The trap's actually right here. Um, completely blended like a flat set. So as you can tell, it works. Um, so I'll get them dispatched and and taken care of, but um, a couple more sets down there, but I can tell I don't have anything. Well, here's another thing too, and I don't know how much it really helps, but I always lay them coyotes by my set uh, to, for a picture, but um, also it gives coyote smell there, which there's a ton of coyote smell there already, so I don't know if it really helps, but something I like to do. Um, so if I, I don't know if it helps or hinders, but um, Makes for a nice picture on the remake, so. All right, we'll catch you later. Right down here, this turned out to be a good check. Uh, we're at my cat set, and we've got another cat. Oh, that's, cat is this? This must be cat number four. Um, destroyed the cubby, and it's a lot smaller than the last one, but bobcat nonetheless, good pad catch, uh, absolutely demolished my cubby so yeah we'll get this taken care of and i guess i'll spend some time remake the the cubby and get a look at this cat oh the flasher's still there you can see here we got a real good pad catch on that cat so i'm real pleased with that uh, it's not near as small as i thought it was at first but um a little female. Anyway, good looking cat. Uh, there's a desert cat. Doesn't have near the white belly that the other ones do. It's broken up right here a little bit, but um, I'm actually not going to sell any of my cats. I'm going to have them tanned. So, All right, well, here's our new cubby. And uh, you hear them coyotes? Oh, a couple youngsters. Anyway, I've taken a bunch of coyotes off this ranch. There's still more. Um, anyway, the flasher's right here. So if you're back, the cat's walking from anywhere in the ranch down near, they can see that flasher. They get them to come up the trail. And they'll have a cubby here. And I'll put some lure back in there. And you can see I got some cat turds. Um, and you can really, 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 really force a cat. So I really stacked it in there heavy. Uh, stepping stick and blocking um, And that's how I've caught the last two out of this set so that Liquid back there that wet spot that was actually where he urinated after dispatching So I'll get it relured um, One more attempt see if we can catch one more cat out of there There's the flasher and uh, Yeah, so that was cat number four two out of this set. So it's been good. All right, I better get buttoned up and down the line. That's another cat. I've never seen a bobcat out on this part of the ranch. Looks like a really good one. Real pretty spots. Uh, hind leg catch. Um, that's the fifth bobcat this year. So, boy, the spots on here. Really neat. Um, 
we'll get it taken care of and uh oh, it's gonna come after me in it we'll get it uh taken care of take a look at it here number five bobcat for the year well, that really took me by surprise to have a cat there but what a pretty cat um there's the remake and uh let's take a good look at the spots on it just really neat um the belly is just absolutely gorgeous uh it's a really good looking cat oh so, um really bright spots on her so yeah i'm happy with that the back the marking on it just just a beautiful spotted cat oh i'm pretty tickled with that i got the tag on her um number five for the season like i say that really caught me by surprise to have a cat in that set but we'll take it all right i'll catch you later well you can see uh towed up a tractor for a minute but i uh, didn't hold him he ran over both my sets out here oh yeah i've had a rough go with these tractors can't seem to hold one but uh you got both of them hopefully they're resettable so yeah i'll have to start running bigger gear if i'm gonna try holding one of these tractors i guess but you know i'm trapping out here where they're farming so and ranching and sheep um hopefully the these traps didn't get run look like they just got it with one tire most time most time they get run they'll get popped with the front tire and they'll be standing up and then the back tire will hit them and smash them so anyway yeah i'm not going to set them right this minute i gotta check the rest of the line maybe on the way back so catch you later Timber dog.